hello everyone our video for today is how to maximize the revenue of the vehicle warehouse since this week we're going to have 50% on the vehicle sales I'm going to show you how to maximize the revenue in order to have the maximum number that we could make this week what we're seeing now is the worst car sale can be done in GTA I guess so uh, don't do it guys okay before we start our video make sure that you subscribe and uh, hit the bell icon so you get notified when there's any video out it's very important to have a public solo lobby so it's easier for you to sell to do this just change your session that's it the first thing that we have to do in order to maximize the number is the location look here at the map my warehouse is very close to the highway and you see coming from the highway just turning and then I'm inside the second is better to have a buzzard so you can move from point A to point B very quickly the third is if you have a terabyte it's preferable to have it parked by your uh, warehouse then the cargo bob is very important if you have oppressor it's fine it's the same like the buzzard you know already that we have uh, three categories of cars we have the standard range mid-range and the top range in order to maximize our revenue out of the cars warehouse we need to have always top range to be sold in order to do this we have to have 10 standard range cars with different plate number plus another 10 mid-range cars also with different plate number from here on we're going to have always top range to be sold So let's start stealing cars now when you have the cargo bob just place it in area which is uh, free for you to, uh, to to move and then bring it pick up your car and go to your warehouse then when you arrive to the warehouse you see the yellow point just fly over it and that's it if you don't have the cargo bob not big deal here you see you have there is like a photo session for the car and there is some NPCs guards you need to kill them first and then steal the car some of them they will hide behind it just make sure that you don't hit the car now if you look at the repair cost I have zero you drive the car just like a normal nothing will happen to the car until and just make sure that you your eyes on the map then there is a red circle will appear just park your car and get to the other side of the road just get away from the car there's a three or four waves of NPCs will try to attack you to attack you not to attack the car so just make sure that you away from the car now you will see that my car still with repair cost of zero until this moment when look now I'll repeat it there is a stupid NPC just hit the car I don't know who's this when the four waves are over just take your car and drive peacefully slowly to your warehouse it's 
Now, when we have to deliver the cars, just drive, let's say, two or three blocks away from your warehouse. Make sure that you park your car at the side of the road, which nobody can touch it, and run on the other side of the road. Just be away from the car. Again here you're going to have four waves of NPCs because why are you going to have these waves? Because when you don't have anybody in the lobby, it's only a public solo lobby. In this case you're going to have four waves of NPCs. If you have one person in your lobby, you don't you're not going to see any waves coming to you and trying to to kill you so now I guess we are on the in the uh, second wave or the third wave is the second wave I guess okay we try to destroy them before they get close to us and we wait for the third wave They appear like in, in 10 seconds, maybe or less. Try to kill them before they get out of their cars. Using this machine gun is very important in this mission. Because you're going to blow their cars right away. Now we wait for the fourth wave to arrive. they started to arrive now just make sure to kill them before they here I have to be careful because my car is behind them they trying to kill me not to destroy the car this uh, car if you see I still have the 150 percent I don't have any repair cost until now so all the waves are over and now we go to our cars we go to the car we drive peacefully carefully we're not racing anybody here just go slowly and be careful especially when it's long distance now we arrive to our destination and we will see how much we'll get we'll get like 150 because of the 50 percent extra money we, we're getting now when we deliver the car and we have the cargo bob just bring your car outside in area which is easy to to fly bring your cargo bob fly over it we need some little bit of practice in order not to destroy the car and then you pick up your car and you fly away and that's it it's easy I guess and this is everything guys Thank you very much for watching this movie and uh, I would like from you if you like it please subscribe make sure that you hit the bell icon so you get notified when there is any video out I want to thank my subscribers until now and thank you for your support and see you with the next video bye bye